everyone once again welcome back with the new course so today course is about how we can deploy our application on the cloud server right i'm talking about the digital ocean so in this series i'm going to deploy my laravel application on the digital ocean so let's get started so first of all you need to visit the uh, visit the cloud website cloudbase.com so by digital ocean right i'm going to log in into my account right if you don't have any account you can sign up right so just click on this login and it will redirect uh, you on the login page right so i'm already logged in so that's why it's logging me in right so i'm not going to show you my credentials right so these are private so that's why i'm hiding those information and i already log in myself right so when you will hit enter and uh, uh, click on this login button so it will show you the dashboard of cloudways right so it will re redirect you on the unified.cloudways.com okay and uh, here it will show you all of your application right so this will also display how many servers you have flexible apps auto scaled app or not right okay uh, i have this application and i'm going to deploy my application in this node tracker application right so there is there is not too much things are here it's very simple okay uh, here you can open the uh, domain of your application so let's go here and open this out for now it's forbidden because there is nothing inside uh, the uh, inside the um, domain directory right so let's go back and uh, here i'm going to open the node tracker click on this and it will open all of the details right so it will show you the database detail when you are creating your machine so it will ask you to which database you want to uh, create right i'm using my sql so i haven't uh, configured this but but you can configure this for the laravel you can uh, create the application from this add an application and then choose a um, uh, language which uh, which is uh, the application language then you can choose the database and so on things and then this will be created right okay uh, this one is now showing my application details this one is also showing my ssh access right so we will uh, execute our command using ssh right okay and we will also deploy it to using git so you need to have at least a git repository right so i have this uh, private repository you can see this this one is locked right so i'm going to use this uh, repository to deploy my application okay and uh, i have uh, already pushed my code and if you don't know how to push the code on the repositories you can check out my github series so here this series is about how we can deploy our application on the digital ocean so digital ocean allow us to deploy via git so we'll deploy it through the git okay there are other things like we can uh, set up our application we can set its uh, root directory like i did this public slash uh, public html slash public because uh, we are in the uh, i'm going to deploy my laravel application and laravel application run from public slash index file okay this one is my folder name and this one is uh, for the permissions we can set or reset your permissions here purge is used for clearing your application cache so you can clear your cache okay also turn this off when you are in the testing or deployment uh, in the staging server okay here uh, from here you can turn on the ssh access if you will you will turn this off so you wouldn't be able to access the ssh access right course header HTTP redirects application access and so on things here this one is also uh, important if you want to uh, don't want to uh, visible your application to the public so you can turn this off right so it will show that uh, this application is uh, unavailable right so this one is uh, basically shows the message to the user that this is unavailable okay and uh, ssl certificate 
cron jobs you can set up the cron jobs domain management you can manage your domain here add new domains right okay and uh, from the next video we are going to deploy this so uh, through the github right so you know from the github we need to add the ssh key right so we'll do this in the next video so i'll meet you in the next one so stay tuned bye bye